Ancient Meets Modern in Corinth, a town that is considered the gateway to the Peloponnese Peninsula. During Roman times, it was one of the largest and wealthiest city-states in Greece, with two major ports, one on the Corinthian Gulf and one on the Saronic Gulf. Today, the site where ancient Corinth once stood has been excavated by archaeologists from the American School in Athens since 1896. The extensive remains are dominated by top-rated attractions like the ruins of the Temple of Apollo. Behind the site rises the hill of Acrocorinth, which was fortified during the Middle Ages. The modern town of Corinth lies seven kilometers northeast of the ancient city and only an hour's drive west of Athens, to which it is connected by a regular bus service. The town is also famous for the Corinth Canal, which gives ships a route through the Isthmus of Corinth. There are many things to do in the Corinth area, including an adrenaline rushing bungee jump. Plan your adventures with our video of the top attractions in Corinth. 1. Corinth Canal the idea of building a canal through the Isthmus of Corinth, which connects the Peloponnese to the rest of Greece, was conceived by the Tyrant Periander in the 6th century BC to link the Ionian and Aegean seas. Its completion, however, didn't come about until the late 1800 after modern Greece gained independence. Today, the Corinth Canal, which is 4 kilometers east of modern Corinth, is the city's top attraction. Creating it between 1882 and 1893 involved an excavation up to 80 meters in depth to create a canal that is 6.3 kilometers long, 23 meters wide, and 8 meters deep, and can accommodate vessels of up to 10,000 tons. The best view of the canal is from the bridge, which carries the road over it. One of the most interesting features, however, is the submersible bridge at the northwest end. It can be sunk below the surface, allowing smaller ships and sailing boats to pass through after paying a hefty tariff. However, it is too narrow for larger ships. 2. Ancient Corinth Ancient Corinth is an important archaeological site, which has revealed many great finds. Once one of the most powerful cities of the classical world, it came under Roman rule in 146 BC. It is here that St. Paul preached to the people of Corinth in AD 51-52, and his experience later inspired him to write the New Testament books of the 1st Corinthians and 2nd Corinthians, among the most quoted books of the Bible. Today, amid the archaeological excavations, you can see the ruins of various buildings including temples, a forum, baths, and a basilica. 3. Temple of Apollo The most important monument in ancient Corinth the imposing Doric temple Apollo lies on a low hill and dominates the site. The temple was built around 540 BC on the site of an earlier 7th century BC temple. Today, only seven monolithic limestone columns remain, but originally there would have been six along the front and back of the temple and 15 down each side. In the 1st century AD, the Romans moved the main entrance into the temple to the west. Formerly, it, it had been on the east, and they built stoas, colonnaded walkways to each side of the temple. 4. Acrocorinth. Acrocorinth lies 3.5 kilometers south of ancient Corinth. The ascent to the top of this impressive fortified hilltop, 575 meters, is made easier by a road, which climbs to a point near the lowest gate on the west side. Acrocorinth was fortified in ancient times, and its defenses were maintained and developed during the Byzantine, Frankish, Turkish, and Venetian periods, so that its walls now measure almost 2 kilometers in length. Within the fortress, a path leads to the highest point, to the former Temple of Aphrodite, which was converted into a mosque by the Ottoman Turks in the 16th century. From here, there are fine views of the Isthmus and the hills of the Peloponnese. 5. Laotraki Overlooking the Gulf of Corinth, 6 kilometers northeast of Corinth, Laotraki is a popular seaside resort, which is wonderful to spend an afternoon wandering around, especially if you're in need of some heat therapy. Here you'll find natural thermal springs at the Lautraki Spa, where you can spend some time soaking and sipping the healing water that is recommended for disorders of the urinary tract, kidney stones, gallstones, and gout. The old town of Lautraki was destroyed by an earthquake in 1928, and today consists mainly of concrete hotels erected during the second half of the 20th century. 6. Modern Corinth After a powerful earthquake took out Corinth's old town in 1858, it was rebuilt with a new look and locale on the coast overlooking the Gulf of Corinth, 7 kilometers northeast of the ancient city. However, following another earthquake in 1928 and then a great fire in 1933, the new town went through even more building incarnations. Today, modern Corinth consists mainly of contemporary concrete buildings and everyday life centers on the cafes lining the square in front of the port. For tourists arriving from Athens and the rest of mainland Greece, 
Corinth is considered the gateway to the Peloponnese Peninsula. When it comes to staying in Corinth, options are relatively limited. There are no luxury hotels in town. The highest-ranked hotel is a three-star property. If you want true luxury, you can stay in Athens and visit Corinth on a day trip. At just an hour's drive from Athens, it is easy to visit Corinth on a half-day tour from Athens. The morning tour includes 90 minutes exploring ancient Corinth's ruins with English-speaking guide, a scenic drive along the coast to the Corinth Canal, and other activities.